So let's uh, synthesize the Wittig reagent. So um, first thing you're going to need is triphenylphosphine, and then you're going to react this with uh, methyl iodide. And then when you do that, okay, so the first, so the, this is a two-step process. You're going to react that with methyl iodide, and then you're going to react that, process, uh, that product with um, uh, n butyl lithium, okay, or, okay. So, uh, let's go over the mechanism of this. So the, Methyl iodide is just the typical SN2 reaction that you guys know and love, especially Eric and Billy. So when you make that, So phosphorus has these electrons that want to attack this carbon, okay? And it'll make that a positive charge there, and the counter ion will be the iodide that came off, okay? But what you find is even though this salt is kind of stable, you can make it even more stable. You can make that Wittig reagent out of it because you got a, a potential elid forming here, right? So what you can do is take n-butyl lithium like this, okay? And remember, um, n-butyl lithium is an ionic compound like this. And what will happen, you're going to deprotonate like that. Making the video great. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Any questions?